What's going on everyone? Welcome to G-Ball Vision. Today I have an unboxing to do for you guys. This is something I had overnighted so I could get it in hand. I wanted it very badly. I wanted to get it on video. We'll go ahead and get into this guy using one of my all-time favorite knives now. I just got this recently, the Vero Synapse XL, but it is just a phenomenal phenomenal knife not just the action but the blade shape the uh, blade stock the behind the edge it's all perfect it is a slicer it's gonna do hard work just fine uh, beautiful natural micarta scales the action is on point the detent is just dialed in Everything that a Vero brings to the table and much more. It's just just a s astounding knife and the size is perfect. This is a bigger boy, uh, but I like a little bigger knife typically. And this thing is, it just hits on every level that I look for in a knife. So we'll go ahead and dig into this. FedEx box. I'm assuming this is a secondary box, so we shall see. But I did order this from DLT, and I probably didn't have to do the quick shipping. I probably would have got it, well, I probably would have got it Monday, but I just, you know, you guys know how it is. I just couldn't wait that long to get this guy uh so let's see is it in another box it might not be that might be what they just put it in and that's it so that is it for in the box always always with a dlt sticker that is my receipt here we go guys you ready for this? Shablam. Shablizzy blam, guys. So, if you don't know that logo right there, that is a Chavez logo. So, right here is the 229 Sangre, which is the Warren Cliff full size thumb stud edition. Definitely an all-time favorite as well and then we have the 229 Redencion this is the drop point variant full size these guys are not little knives they're not crazy crazy big how do they line up yeah see even the Vero is a little bigger not by much but it is a little bigger but these are brute brute knives uh, and I needed one more to kind of round out the ones that I want. You know, I wanted three, and this should finish me off. I don't know that I'm going to get any more. I might. We'll see. So what we have, guys, and if you're familiar with my channel you know that I love the kickstop. I have a Pena with the kickstop, and I also have the Oser F22 with the kickstop. And the kickstop, if you're not familiar, is it's a flipper tab mechanism, and when you actuate the flipper tab, the flipper doesn't come through like a typical flipper would. Uh, I don't have one handy here, but like the Vero, how the flipper tab just rotates through and comes to the other side, the kickstop will actually hide within the scales. So we have nice and centered, beautiful. I wanted it to match my other two. I was gonna hold off and get an exclusive version, but then I thought to myself, it won't match my other two. So, I ultimately went with the all stonewash tie, 
could have got a G10 model, could have got an exclusive model, but I opted for the all stone wash, just go original, you know, and you got the skull pocket clip with the two screws that nobody likes. Uh, I don't mind it. It's not, you know, it doesn't make or break the knife for me. So let's give it a flickety flick here. Ooh. Oh. See, I've never experienced a Chavez with a flipper. They're the both the ones I have are thumb studs. So you can see, guys, this is the Tanto variant. So I'll have the Warncliffe variant. Now the Tanto and the drop point. Ooh, that is a smoking trio of knives. That is awesome. Look at those three blade shapes. Chavez does a phenomenal, phenomenal job. And when I found out the kickstop was going, because I always said to myself, man, if they made a flipper in these full sizes that, you know, was very well done because they make some flippers but I'm not a huge fan of flippers like this that come through and sometimes it can give you trouble on the close where the flipper will hit your thumb and and then it just kind of locks you out this is not going to do that oh guys uh, I've seen people raving about these and I knew they'd be good. I ha I've had the kickstop before. I knew the kickstop was good. And I knew Chavez was good. So I knew that it was going to be an awesome, awesome collab. And it certainly is. This thing is just beautiful. So you have a, a machine satin M390 Tanto blade. It has a dull grind there looks like a flat to a hollow and guys it looks so so good very very good you have some heavy duty jimping up on the top here stone wash titanium handles looks like it's going to be t8 hardware all the way around oh man well this will be in the pocket for quite some time oh it's so just effortless oh, that is awesome Whew. look at that that has better action than both of these right out of the box i mean these have a little later of a detent i mean these are still just amazing uh, yeah, they're amazing. So I can't really say that, but the drop point will definitely cut your nail in half. That's why my nails look the way they do because of the Redencion. Oh my goodness, guys. That is amazing. Woo so we will have a full overview. We will have a full review maybe we'll do a disassembly of this guy get in there and take a look at the mechanism itself but i can tell you guys right now that if you like flipper knives you can get this in the drop point or the tanto here i opted for the tanto because i have a drop point uh you will absolutely love this knife it is a brute uh, the flipper is not going to be in your way upon closing the knife. It hides within the scales there, basically laying flat right there. And when you close it, boom. Oh, it's so, so fluid, so effortless. Guys, this is a banger. Whew. I think it's worth every penny. Uh, these are knives that you could you can pass down to your kids who can then pass them down to their kids i mean that's how well built these are 
solid chunks of titanium. I mean, it's just they're just going to last forever. If you don't lose this knife, this will last forever. Oh, man. This is a good one, guys, and I am completely happy. Uh, not even a second thought in my mind that I shouldn't have got this knife. Because sometimes when you get one like this or get an expensive knife, you kind of question yourself possibly. And there is no questioning at all. This is a banger. Uh, but I have a live stream to get to. I'm already late. I love you guys. Hit the thumbs up button. Leave a comment down below. And if you're still here and you are not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. What are you doing? We got Chavez's baby.